sport where the margins of danger are so very thin and the two stepping into the cage put their lives on the line. The job of the referee is arguably the most important of them all. Whilst we all want to see bloodshed, violence and all-out brawls, fighter safety is paramount. So ensuring that someone is there to step in when needed is key. But on the other side of the coin, there are now the not-so-rare instances in which the wrong decision is made in those crucial moments, resulting in fans being robbed of all-out classics, comebacks or sometimes even title defences due to a simple error. On some occasions it's stepping in too early, and on others even not stepping in at all. This is a UFC Casuals Guide to the Worst Referee Moments in History. And if you do like this type of content, maybe consider liking or even subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to hit 20,000 by the end of the year and every little helps. Herb Dean A staple of the fight game, despite not being a fighter or huge personality, Herb Dean is no doubt cemented as an iconic and recognisable face. Take when he miraculously spotted an obscure forearm snap from an armbar before anyone, yes even the recipient, did. Mm -hmm. You know, when Frank Mir broke his arm and he tried to keep fighting. Yeah. That's you too, right? I got that to referee that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah. Because I remember the crowd was booing. Like, uh -huh. boo. I was like, yeah. guys, you need to look at this. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. here it is. And watch this part. Right. Snap. Right there. I mean, that is 100% a double double break but with so many years on the job and in the cage you are bound to make errors and the one that springs to mind immediately is of course his stoppage at ufc 235 between the legend and former welterweight champ ruthless robbie lawler and ben Askren. despite being nearly sent clean through the canvas by lawler and on the brink of the living realm Askren would fight through and rally to lock up a bulldog choke and despite lawler's indications that he was okay with a thumbs up he would make the mistake of dropping his arm for a moment which to herb was a clear sign that robbie was out but the mistake would come to light almost immediately, with Robbie springing up and protesting straight away, whilst being classy as ever. It happens. I mean, he's a hell of a ref. He just made a mistake. In hindsight, it's probably not the worst we've ever seen, but it does feel harsher when Lawler was probably just one more punch from winning the fight. Mario Yamazaki. Of course, this list would not be complete without good old Mario. His job is to protect the fighters, but he seems more interested in living by the creed of Ivan Drago. If he dies. After being the cause of many questionably late stoppages, his errors would finally reach a boiling point after the future flyweight queen Valentina Shevchenko faced Priscilla Cachoeira. A clear golfing ability let the Kyrgyzstani remain dominant throughout, culminating in a beatdown from Mount with Shevchenko covered in blood, just not her own. And yet, despite numerous unanswered strikes, the fight was not called, much to the disbelief of fans and the commentary booth. Eventually, Yamazaki would step in after an age, just only after the Brazilian had been turned into a bloody pulp. And it would be the final straw for Mario 2, as in the post-event press conference, Dana White would lay down the law in a scathing speech, ensuring that he would never work a UFC event again. He said that he was allowing Priscilla to be a warrior. What do you think about that statement? I think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. I think he's disgusting, and I never want to see him reffing ever again. You moron, you're in there to protect her from herself. He, he makes me sick. That guy has no business refing fights, and, and I promise you, you're not going to see him again. Kevin McDonald. Any referee officiating a matchup between two light heavyweights is always going to have a daunting task at hand, and even more so when one of them has walkouts like this. Or this. Or even this. He did this in the last fight as well. He, uh, he got painted up. He does really embody that Hulk nickname. That is a commitment right there. Big time. Ion Kutalaba is the definition of chaos, and he brought the heat in the build-up against now title challenger Ankalaev. The fight was no different either, with the two trading hard early, but Kutalaba would make an error that would turn out to be grave, playing possum in order to lure his opponent in. Even the commentary team was convinced by the Oscar-worthy performance, one so good that the referee would step in moments later. Now you can argue that in this case it's the fault of the fighter for flying too close to the sun, but when you look and see that the ref stops him mid-swing of a punch, I think the backlash to this one was pretty justified. As a result, the fight would be ran back, but there would be no more playing possum for Kutalaba this time, as Ankalaev would leave no room for any doubt. Vyacheslav Kiselev. Now this one is probably the worst of the lot, 
On the prelims of UFC 267, the highly touted Frenchman Benoit Saint-Denis was penned in to face Brazilian Dos Santos in a highly anticipated lightweight scrap. Although many expected Benoit to take home the W, what resulted was a 15-minute beatdown from the Brazilian. Now, after watching this sport for a long time, you do tend to get desensitized to the violence, but this bout was most certainly an exception. Saint-Denis was no longer abiding by the rule of defending himself at all times, which to any competent referee should be an indicator to stop the bout. What transpired was so severe that the referee was relieved of his duties during the event, forcing John Anik to make an announcement live on air. I can tell you that via Kislov, <laughs> Kisilev uh, has been removed from his next assignment. He will not be refereeing anymore tonight after what we all witnessed in the Saint-Denis Zaleski Dos Santos fight. Thank you. Thank you. As he once did with Yamazaki, Dana White would confront the issue in the post-fight press conference. Morning, and then he was he was removed from his duties the rest of the night. Can you remember an incident like this with a referee? Yeah, <laughs> we've had lots of incidents with referees, but this was pretty bad.